We got one. The Miami Hurricanes just landed their biggest recruiting dub yet in the class of 2024. A five-star wide receiver is staying home at the crib. JoJo Trader, welcome to the U. You are locked on Canes, your daily podcast on the Miami Hurricanes. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. What a great day to be a Kane. I'm Alex Dono, your host, University of Miami alumnus, longtime South Florida sports radio vet and contributor to allhurricanes.com. And thank you so much to the everydayers for making Locked On Canes your first listen. We're available free wherever you get your podcasts and available free on YouTube. Josiah Jojo Trader, five-star, listed as an athlete, but we all know he's going to play wide receiver at the college level. Five-star out of Chaminade, Madonna, right here in South Florida. He has picked the University of Miami. Over 30 scholarship offers for this young man. Trader could have gone to Ohio State uh, to join his buddy Jeremiah Smith. His high school teammate could have chosen Florida State, could have chosen Florida, and Literally dozens of others. Everybody wanted this young man, but he has decided to stay home, take his talents from the 954 to the 305. Had, as you would imagine, given his five star status, had an awesome season last year at Chaminade. Uh, he also plays defense, defensive back as well in high school, had an interception last year, but as a wide receiver last year at Chaminade in 13 games. He had 47 receptions for 743 yards and seven touchdowns last year. Trader, who is, is going to be such a big-time player at Miami because that's his DNA. Um, great route runner, but the big thing about Trader is he's got this knack for making these crazy catches, circus catches on the regular, making them look easy. Uh, he is elite when it comes to tracking the football. And, you know, this might seem like too lofty of a comparison, so I'm just passing this along. But I was reading an interview with uh, Traders High School coaches, head coach of Chaminade, Damian Jones, yesterday, who spoke with Kane Sport. And, you know, they asked Jones for a player comp for Trader, and he brought up the name Tyreek Hill. That's the type of player, uh, that's the sort of skill set that Miami is bringing in here with JoJo Trader. And, guys, there's so much more on Trader besides what a good football player he is and what an amazing athlete he is. Uh, if you've been watching and listening to the shows that we've done here on Locked on Canes in recent weeks, going back to Legends Camp, you know how much respect I have for Trader as being just the type of personality and the type of alpha that the Miami Hurricanes need on their roster. This young man showed up, uh, at least unannounced to the media. The staff might have had a heads up, but he showed up by surprise to Legends Camp last month and he worked out, didn't have to do that. OK, I've been going to Legends Camps and Paradise Camps a lot over the years since Mark Richt created that back in 2016 or 2017. And usually when I see five star guys show up to these camps, they're usually in street clothes and they're just there to network because they have nothing to prove. Like Jojo Trader had nothing to prove, but he wanted to go out there and actually work out, get his cleats dirty, get some pointers from Kevin Beard and Miami staff because Trader wants to keep getting better. And part of that is you notice there's no extra drama with this guy. OK, um, he didn't even do a live stream and a bunch of build up before his announcement. He quietly announced at 7 p.m. Thursday night that he's going to be a Miami Hurricane. There is no diva in Jojo. This young man just wants to get to work. He just wants to get to campus, wants to get to Miami and wants to get to work. And. Miami's building up a nice wide receiver class here. Um, you've already got a four-star and now a five-star on board, Chance Robinson, and there's a deep connection between those two. We'll get to it, but you've had Chance Robinson now verbally committed to Miami for about three months, and you add Trader into that mix. So uh, let me say bravo here and throw a shout-out to Miami's wide receivers coach, Kevin Beard. This is great work by KB, and – he has been instrumental now in locking up Chance Robinson back in April, and we told that story so many times here on Locked on Canes about the way that the two of them just connected and they had these long conversations about football and about life. Kevin Beard connects with these young men in a way that a lot of other position coaches around the country just do not. 
okay? Uh, and now he connects with JoJo Trader that same way. And then another important point to consider here about JoJo Trader, folks, um, I've told you before on this show that when push came to shove, I expected at some point Trader was going to commit to Miami. I thought it was only a matter of when, not if. But how many times have we said it here on this show? I didn't expect Trader to announce for Miami or for anybody until around National Signing Day. I thought that this, and you know, he hasn't uh, taken any official visits yet. Because remember, uh, his mother and you know, prayers for her. His mother has been ill, so he was planning on using his official visits in the fall, uh, not over the summer, like a lot of players did, because he wanted to wait until his mom was healthy enough to go on the trips for him. I thought no matter where he chose to go, where he chose to go, even though I thought Miami would be the destination all along, that he was going to wait until around National Signing Day to do that to get JoJo on board in July. This is massive because this is great to help with momentum, right? We talked about last summer, right, when Miami landed uh, a five-star commitment from Francis Maui Noah in July, about a week uh, before this one happens with JoJo Trader a year ago, and that helped springboard a lot of momentum for the rest of the class. Hopefully, JoJo Trader can create that sort of an effect here. And when we come back... We've got about we've got to talk about the connection that's being built here uh, that goes a lot deeper than high school teammates. This goes all the way back to Optimist and to the youth field. Uh, the Miami Gardens Ravens connection is a real thing right now. So we're only getting started here. Jojo Trader is a cane. You want to keep it locked right here. More to this conversation coming up on Locked on Canes. But we got to talk about eBay Motors. Oh, my goodness. I'm so happy to have them around the Locked On Network. Now, let's welcome in eBay Motors. Folks, for a championship team, it's all about making sure every player is a perfect fit. It's the same when it comes to your vehicle. Every part needs to fit just right. So the next time you need parts and accessories, head to eBay Motors. With eBay Guaranteed Fit, you can be sure every part you need fits right the first time around. Just add your ride to my garage and look for the green check to know the part's going to fit or your money back. Because just like in sports, confidence is the name of the game when you shop at eBay Motors. And with over 122 million parts to choose from, you'll be back in the game in no time. After all, it's easy to bring home a win when the right parts are guaranteed. Get the right parts, the right fit, and the right prices at ebaymotors.com. Let's ride eBay guaranteed fit only available to U.S. customers. Eligible terms, eligible items only. Uh, exclusions apply. Thank you so much for making Locked On Canes your first listen today. We're available free wherever you get your podcasts and available free on YouTube. And guys, uh, I would encourage you if you want to stay up to date on big time commitments and recruiting scoops, you want to join us on our exclusive SMS texting community through subtext. I include a link in the show description below. You get text messages directly to your phone from my phone with recruiting scoops. I gave you guys I gave you guys a heads up that something big was coming last night, all right? You get recruiting scoops on there, uh, exclusive one-on-ones with me, uh, breaking news alert. So join our subtext community completely free for the first 14 days. And then if you want to opt in, it's $4.99 a month, but try it free for 14 days. Decide for yourself. Link included in the show description below. JoJo Trader is a Miami Hurricane. We'll talk about how this impacts the class in a moment. Uh, this is obviously the uh, the biggest uh, player Miami has landed in this cycle so far. I was given a potential heads up this morning that something else big could be happening this weekend. So just be ready. That's all I'm saying. Be ready for something big potentially happening this weekend as well. But as far as landing Trader, guys... There's something going on, definitely something going on here with the Miami Gardens Ravens connection. Trader and so many of Miami's verbal commits in this cycle played on the same Optimus team as kids, okay? JoJo Trader, he was a youth teammate, Miami Gardens Ravens, with Chance Robinson. He and Chance are very close. Ryan Mack from St. Thomas Aquinas, OJ Frederic from ST, all three of those first names are from OTA, uh, from, uh, from STA. Vincent Shavers as well. Uh, and now JoJo Trader added to that mix. I guess the missing pieces here are Jeremiah Smith and, and Zaquan Patterson, a couple of other five stars who played together at the youth level. Uh, so there's definitely something there. And JoJo Trader and the Mack family especially, they're really close. Uh, he's like family with Ryan Mack and his father, Rod Mack, who also played linebacker in Miami. So there's definitely something there. We talk about relationships, how important the relationships are 
with Kevin Beard, Miami's wide receivers coach, and recruiting players like this, but then also the family ties between JoJo and other members of that Miami Hurricanes family go back very deep, go back all the way to the youth level. So it's awesome. It's awesome to have JoJo Trader now with the Miami Hurricanes. And yes, landing JoJo Trader, Miami's moving on up in the recruiting rankings. How about that? So the Hurricanes now have uh, the 16th rated class in the country, according to the 24-7 sports composite rankings. Now, another thing, if you go by the the 24-7 individual rankings, because people have brought this up to me, we refer to JoJo Trader as a five-star. Uh, he is a five-star composite, right? Because most of the recruiting services have him with a five-star rating. I think 24-7 Sports, their individual rating for him has him at a four-star, not at a five-star. Did they take his star away because he committed to Miami? Hmm. We seem to see shenanigans like that happen from time to time. But he's still considered a uh, a composite five-star player and he's the highest ranked player that Miami has landed so far in this class so the Hurricanes in landing trader uh, they move up from I think the low 20s up to number 16 now they have passed North Carolina Uh, Miami now has the third rated class in the ACC overall behind 11th ranked Florida State and 14th rated Clemson Miami now third uh, in the ACC and who knows if they have the type of big weekend I think they uh, might be able to have here Maybe Miami will have the uh, the second or even first rated class in the ACC within a matter of time here. So, yeah, if you look at Miami's verbal commits so far, let me pull that up here. Verbal commits. I can't uh, I can't think one thing and type something different at the uh, at the same time. So let's see Miami's 2024 verbal commit. So Jojo Trader becomes the 17th in that one. He's the highest ranked commit Miami's landed so far. Uh, Marquise Lightfoot, who Miami landed just over a week ago, July 3rd. Uh, He is Miami's second highest rated commit. Then you have running back Kevin Riley, who's another four star Uh, Chance Robinson, the aforementioned St. Thomas Aquinas wide receiver. Then you have Elijah Lofton, the four star tight end. Uh, Cameron Pruitt is a four star safety. Uh, Remember, I I think he recently got upgraded to that fourth star, which is awesome. Isaiah Thomas, uh, Miami safety. He's still a, I think, a composite three star, but he's a four star now on rivals. And Isaiah Thomas has been moving up the ranks. Then you have Ryan Mack, Dylan Day. It's a lot of good safeties in this class for Miami. Uh, Vincent Shavers, Chris Wheatley Humphrey, who I... Uh, I think Shavers and Wheatley Humphrey are both criminally underrated. Now, Shavers is another guy who did recently earn his fourth star on Rivals, still a composite three-star. He's underrated. Wheatley Humphrey we know is underrated. Derek Plaz, same thing, the offensive lineman. O.J. Frederick, Juan Minaya, Judd Anderson, Dalen Russell, and the kicker, Abram Murray. So those are the 17 members of uh, the Miami Hurricanes verbal commitment group so far. Um, you know, people have asked me how big I expect the class to be by the time it's all said and done. Uh, I don't know, maybe around 25, something in that range. You know, keep in mind, you're going to land a bunch of players between now and December. And, you know, you never know. You also, it's just a natural thing. You may have a couple of players flipped from your current group, but then you may flip a couple of players from somebody else's recruiting class. You're going to land a few more. So I, I think it's going to be probably around 25 uh, incoming freshmen when it's all said and done but right now the class sits at 17 and it's a strong class and jojo trader just adds to that quality so welcome to the you young man and guys as always if you have any questions or comments there's a number of different ways to leave those Uh, you can get at us on twitter follow our show at locked on canes and we will follow you back Uh, You can also leave a comment on the YouTube video. Try to be nice, but if you're not nice, I won't really care. I don't take anything personally. Uh, And if you uh, are uh, an audio listener, I should say, you want to subscribe to our podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, Odyssey app, wherever you get your pods, and leave us a five-star rating and review if you have time to do that. So, folks, welcome to the You Jojo Trader. Um, We hit you up a little bit earlier this morning because I'm doing radio today, 560 WQAM from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. If anything happens later on today, because we do have some other stuff to talk about, we might do a second episode today. So you want to keep it locked right here to Locked on Canes, part of the awesome Locked on Podcast Network, your team every day.